How accurate is it to say that American culture went through a revolution during the 1920s? So in this particular essay, we are discussing the significance of the change that took place in American culture. A revolution is a quick and total change. In the introduction, what we're looking for is context. We are looking for an argument. We are looking um, that that argument is developed, a brief indication of what that argument is going to be and how you're going to substantiate it. And the plan, how are you going to plan your essay in order to prove your point, quantify your point, and explain why other factors may be of importance, but relatively not as important as your argument. Throughout the 1920s, American culture underwent a significant change. Here's our attempt to quantify our argument. From baseball and cinema to flagpole sitting, American culture appeared to undergo a revolution. The impact of the media and sports all had a major impact on American culture, and for that reason I will argue that US culture did indeed change, but the description of a revolution is not appropriate in some aspects, like the Harlem Renaissance in black culture, which can be seen here as an evolution. I believe that due to the fact the media, sports and consumer society are still major influences in the world today, that American culture did go through a revolution. The media and technological advances brought the greatest changes. This is an interesting thing here because obviously we're referring back to economic changes that America experienced during the 1920s. Um, brought changes in US culture in my opinion. Perhaps the biggest cultural change in the 1920s was the introduction of the cinema. So an attempt to now hierarchically rank the impact of cultural changes. So starting with the cinema. By the 1920s, the cinema industry was the fourth largest in terms of capital investment. Movies offered the American people escape, excitement and a chance to imagine oneself in a different world. Due to its re relatively cheap price, the majority of Americans could experience it, making it the biggest cultural change of the 1920s. And interestingly on this point, even when things go bad in America, after 1929, the popularity of the cinema never declines. Therefore, it is accurate to say that the media did go through a revolution for the first time. Movies widely were widely available and almost anyone could go to experience them. The American people could watch the same movies no matter what social class they were from, and for the first time it gave the American people a sense of community, a sense of national identity, something which America had never experienced before because of its wide geography, um, cultural differences and, and literally disparity, huge size. As the cinema gained in popularity, society began to mix, with people from middle classes talking to upper class about a film they had just watched. This was something completely new and alien to American people. Along with the introduction of the cinema, radio was now introduced to the American people. So we're moving on to our second form now of cultural change in the media. By the end of the decade, 60% of all American families had one radio, and for this, for this, for the first time American in American history, the whole country could be brought together because of the radio. People from any social class poor or rich, white or black, could listen to the same program at the same time as each other, bringing the country together as a community. This therefore shows that American culture underwent a revolution in the 1920s. Never before had American, Americans been able to have such a sense of togetherness. They laughed at the same jokes and shared the thrill of the sporting events, something which had never been achieved before. For the first time, every American could access the same news simultaneously. With the rise of radio came increased popularity of sports, with baseball being a prime example. So here at the end of this paragraph we have a linking statement. We're showing how sports were linked to radio, and the radio were also technologically linked to the cinema. Throughout that previous paragraph that we read, what the candidate is doing is saying, this is an example of change, this is my evidence, and this is my analysis of how significant the change was. So the analysis at each stage is quantifying the importance of the change. This therefore shows just how much of a revolution America went through. Due to the fact that social classes were now beginning to merge and the country was being brought together as a community shows that American culture did go through a revolution. 
During the 1920s, sports went through a golden age. Both participation and the following of sports experienced a steep incline in popularity. The growth of radio brought national and local sports events into people's homes, helping foster a sense of national community. Along with the increased coverage of sports, people had more leisure time and sporting heroes attracted huge audience, especially in baseball and boxing. Uh, that's an indication, therefore, uh, also of the economic prosperity of America. More money brought in the opportunity for more leisure time. Uh, this shows that American culture did go through a revolution, again, right back to the question, because for the first time Americans could enjoy sports together no matter where you were from or your social class. It was a major step forward for America in terms of shortening the divide between classes in American society. The main sport which took America by storm was that of baseball. The main sporting hero was Babe Ruth, who was known for his home runs. Over the course of his career, Ruth made $1 million, the kind of money had never been seen in sports before. With this increased amount of money, massive stadia could be built, which in turn captured the public imagination. This therefore shows, and again we're moving from evidence into analysis, that America did experience a revolution because never before had baseball or any other sport captured the public imagination in such a way, um, or been surrounded by so much money. Due to the radio, now we're linking our features here, more people could listen in on the event, and this helped with the new fan fascination of sports. Because of the major influence of sports, this shows how much of a revolution in culture America went through because more people of different classes were listening and taking part in sports. The social class divide was clearly severely depleting, therefore showing that American culture went through a revolution. Again, our focus right back on the question. Also in 1920, the Negro National Baseball League was formed, which was a testament to the fact that sports was still largely segregated, despite the Harlem Renaissance. Now again, that shows the linking sentence between the two paragraphs. Black Americans were moving from southern to northern America, mainly to Manhattan and Harlem. New job opportunities, more modern racial views, and a better way of life awaited them. These pull factors attracted thousands of black Americans. By 1930, 165 black, thousand black Americans moved to Harlem, a rise of 115,000 since 1914. Due to the secluded nature of Harlem, a new black culture was founded upon blues, the, um, jazz, art and poetry. However, in the short term, this new black culture was only focused on Harlem. Only in the long term did it begin to have, make huge advances influencing modern America. Therefore, I believe that the Harlem Renaissance fell short of a revolution because only in the short term did it influence the cosmo cosmopolitan America on the East Coast. Also, the Harlem Renaissance in the short term appeared to have a very minor influence on the racial views of Americans. There were a few emergencies of black organisations like the NAACP and political leaders like Dubois, but ultimately these organisations only made an, an impact on America more in the long term. So in this particular paragraph, we're bringing in another significant cultural change. The Harlem Renaissance is specifically mentioned in the syllabus, but the student is actually quantifying its impact as um, local and more significant in the long term than it was in the short term. Now, the long-term, short-term dimension is only being brought in at this particular stage. It wasn't alluded to in the introduction, but the candidate did identify that some areas were not actually experiencing a revolution. Therefore, the Harlem Renaissance cannot be seen as a revolution because it still did take decades before blacks in America would have seen the same level. For this reason, I believe that this can only be seen as an evolution of American culture. The Harlem Renaissance appeared only to have a major influence on liberal Americans on the East Coast. The majority of Americans still could not accept them into society and therefore cannot be seen as a revolution. In conclusion then, culture experienced a major change throughout the 1920s. Many aspects of US culture did experience a revolution. The media and sports are the two biggest cultural changes throughout this decade. The fact that media and sports are massive industries in the US today only shows just how important they are and how American culture did 
um, change, experience a revolution. Despite the fact that some aspects did not experience this revolution like the Harlem Renaissance, overall there is no denying that the majority of American, for the majority of American people, culture for the middle class people in particular, did experience a revolution and therefore the 1920s, in my opinion, did experience a cultural revolution. Which is exactly what the student said in the introduction and he's pulled off the plan and delivered the essay. One could take issue with the fact that literature hasn't been included in this essay as well. The lost generation of American authors did indeed, rather like the Harlem Renaissance, make a massive impact upon American literature and American culture in the long term. In the short term, they were not even living in America as um, disaffected as they were with the way that American society had turned in the 1920s.